Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So in the, this uh, lecture, I have to speak about the MPLS basics. As you can see, this is the header of the MPLS. The header consists of 32 bits. So if you count them, 20 plus 3, that's uh, 23 plus 1, that's uh, 24 plus 8, that's 32 bits. So exactly 4 bytes. All right, and uh, this header is uh, not very complex. You see the, there is only the label value, the EXP, the S and TTL. So the label value is responsible for the labeling. What does it mean here? That means when we want to make labeling, this is where it goes inside the label value. All right, so that's if you want to do the static labeling, you just have to put, for example, label number 17. Then in this case, we know that it is on the label value. And dynamically also, it goes inside the label value. All right, now the EXP is responsible for the quality of service. So if you want to do some type of quality of service on the MPLS packet that is passing, then also you can use it on the EXP. Now the S, the S is very important, it's only one bit. Now on the MPLS header, when you use S, if it's one, then this is the last MPLS header. So they know that it is the last MPLS header. In case the S it is zero, then, then there, is, there is one more MPLS header left, all right? So that's uh, what the S has as a function. And at the end, the TTL is time to live, of course. Uh, the MPLS has a time to live, so it doesn't go forever to not cause loop. And uh, this is what uh, the TTL, so on Mikrotik, the uh, default TTL is 64. That means every time it goes from one hop to another, it decrement by one. All right, so this is what the TTL. And this is really what is the uh, header of uh, the MPLS. You can see it's not very complex. Four components, label value is uh, where the uh, labeling is uh, happening. EXP is for the quality of service. S, which we've seen that if it's zero or one, then it says if it's the last uh, MPLS header or not. And TTL is uh, the time to live of the MPLS header. All right, so this is uh, the first thing that I wanted to explain to you. Now let's see what we have to see in the upcoming slide when we want to start speaking about the CE, the PE and the P. So that's something we already have seen about uh, the uh, those uh, terms that we use, the CE, the PE and the P. Now, I just took this uh, scenario that I have uh, before showed it to you. So when you say CE, CE means customer edge. That's the device at the customer. All right. So that's the device that uh, it is on the customer side. It could be layer two. It could be layer three, but that's at uh, the customer. And this device doesn't understand the MPLS because MPLS, we are implementing it inside the ISP. So when uh, you refer or someone referred to CE, then remember that is the customer edge. Okay. That means the router, which is installed and the customer side. Now, when we speak about PE, then we are talking about the ISP. PE is this one. You see this one and uh, this one and uh, this one and this one. So those are PEs. PE means provider edge. It is owned by the ISP and it add the MPLS label. So what does it mean here? This means that the, this CE, if we want to reach to the network, which is over here to that CE, then it will send IP packet to here. Then the PE is the one who start adding the MPLS label. All right, so he add this MPLS label to the IP. Then uh, in this case, he will say, for example, 17. All right, and it will go to the P. And then the P will see that he will remove this one and he put in place of it, for example, 18 and so forth. All right, so the PE is the one who start making the labeling. Also, if you see LER, label edge router, that's also another name for PE. Some ISPs or most of the ISPs use the term of PE, but in case you see LER, that's label edge routers. Remember, it's label edge, that's on the edge. Now, the last uh, type of uh, uh, routers that we have on the ISP and uh, also the acronym that we use on MPLS is the P. P means provider. It is connected to other PEs and P, and it switch packet and remove labels. So this is RDPs, this one, this one, this one, this one. And those are mainly the core routers inside the ISP. So when PE send it to P, then you see that P is connected to PE and also is connected to another P, you see, and also over here. Now what the P can do here, he will take the label and he will swap it. He put his own label. All right, so you see that's what it's saying. It remove 
the label and its switch packet. So it will remove the label that it has received and switch it to another P or it can switch it to another PE. All right. So the P is also known as LSR label switch router. So LER label edge router, LSR label switch router. So again, this is very simple. CE is the one at the customer. PE are the routers which are connected to the customer from one side and connected to our inside network in the ISP from the other side. And P is the router in the core which can be connected to another P but also connected to an, another PE. So this is uh, what are the acronyms that uh, we use uh, in uh, the MPLS. So that's something you have to remember them because you will see them most of the time when you work on MPLS network. So now let's uh, show you what is the function that uh, the P and P is, but also we will understand how the labeling can happen. So we will see also something like label push, label swap and label pop. All right. So what does it mean here? Let's say that this CE over here want to send to this CE on his network, which is 5.5.5.0. .5 then he will send this traffic to here as IP, correct? Because the CE doesn't understand anything about MPLS. So this router, which is the edge router, the PE router, then what he do, he will, will make a labeling. And that's what we call label push. So label push, the router add a label to the packet. So this router will add a label to the packet. He will say that this IP has a label of 17, for example. All right, and this is sent to the P router. Now, the P router over here, he will receive the label 17, and then he will swap it, all right? He will swap it with something else. So if there is another P router, and it's something like this. So he will swap it, for example, to 18, and he will send it to this one, correct? So that's what is the label swap. He will swap the 17 and he put the uh, uh, label himself. That's what we call lab label swap, all right? Now, because in this case, we don't have another router over here, so what the P can do in this case, instead of they doing the label swapping to put another label, what he will do, he will make the label pop. So that means he will remove completely the label and he will send it as IP to this edge router. All right, so he will send it as IP because then the PE2 doesn't have to look anymore to the labeling because the PE2 knows how to reach the network 5.5.5.0. So we send it as IP and then this one can send it to the CE2 and to reach to this network. So label push means once uh, you, the router add a label, that's what is called label push. Label swap is the router replace the label with another value. So if it's coming 17, he replace it for by 18. But in our case here, he doesn't have to do that because he's directly connected to another P. But in case he's connected to another P, then he should do the label swap. And then the label pop is the router remove the label. And in this case, the P is doing the uh, label pop, so he has removed the label to send it as an IP packet to PE2. PE2 has received the packet as IP, and then he will be able to forward it to this network because he knows in his routing table about the 5.5.5.0. So these are the terms that we have to use. So once you hear label push, that means a router is adding a label, label swap, it's sw swapping the label, and the label pop means he is taking out the label. So this is what I wanted to explain to you about the basics in MPLS. That's very important that you know all those terms, because in this course, but also at your work, you will hear all those acronyms, the PE, the P, the CE, the label push, label swap, label uh, pop. So all of those uh, terms, you will may hear them. And it's very important that you know what are the function of uh, those terms and where we can use them. So this is what I wanted to show you in uh, this lecture. In the upcoming lecture, I have to start doing labs and I will show you how you can do the uh, labeling, but uh, on MPLS using a static way. That means we, as uh, network engineers, we create the labels from each of the routers. And then at the end, we will see if uh, one CE network can reach the other CE network. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you in this lecture. I hope it was informative for you, and I will see you in the upcoming lecture.